Back in ETV. Hey, you're watching Balcony TV, and we're very excited to be here with Paul Dempsey from Something for Kate. Welcome, Paul. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. It's good to be here. And uh, what are you going to play for us today? Uh, I'm going to play a song uh, called Miracle Cure. Cool. Take it away. Yes. All right. She saw it coming And it says it was meant to be And out of sparks my trick Insistent things are only ever as complicated As she decides they're gonna be Gonna be Well I guess you go your way And I'll go Thank you. Jeez, is this probably the uh, windiest environment you've performed in for? Uh, it may well be. I'm trying to think of a windier one. Yeah. So uh, you just released a new sample for Kate record, Leave Your Soul to Science. That's right. And yeah. uh, you sort of just had the first lot of touring and released them over through October. How's it all been? Uh, it's been great. Yeah, we just finished a, a national tour and um, uh, all the shows were sold out and the crowds were fantastic and the new songs were really well received it's you couldn't couldn't hope for for better it's it's been great yeah like i've been hearing miracle cure a lot on the radio and and do you, do you find that uh, that the fans know all the new songs and sing along already on this these first tours yeah yeah that's that's kind of the real exciting thing when you put a record out you you know you, you might hear something on the radio or whatever and, and that's great but but it's it's not until you actually get in front of a crowd and you see people singing all the words to all the new stuff you, you know, you, you, you know they've yeah. taken it to heart yeah yeah, yeah for sure um, and uh, you guys your you last record was a solo one and uh, and they got the band uh, going again like how does that process compare in terms of writing and recording uh, with the two projects um, it's really it's kind of the same for me in the sense that you know it, I usually come in with the 
you know, the early sketch of an idea. And if I'm working solo, then I just follow it through and finish it off mm -hmm. myself. If I'm working with Clint and Steph, then they take that early sketch and they kind of uh, have a huge impact on it. So I, I guess, you know, Something for Kate is really just the product of three people pushing and pulling at an idea. Yeah. Um, and me solo is just more me being completely self-indulgent and having everything my way yeah 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 so. and do, do songs end up uh, in places where you didn't expect them because of that input of Clinton's death oh yeah absolutely say, we don't like that part and you're like oh really uh, yeah no it's it's <laughs> definitely yeah that's definitely the case and which is why you know I think something for Kate sounds quite different and and it's why it is a I mean you know there wouldn't be much point in having the two separate things if they were exactly the same so yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah it's a very different it's a different process and a different result and, and you've spent a fair bit of time uh in the u.s and you've toured a bit around europe in, in mm -hmm. recent years uh how are you guys approaching things with this new record overseas um we're talking about that now actually we're, we're sort of contemplating some some shows overseas for uh early next year so that's definitely on the agenda Cool. Just see what happens. How's that all been for, for you? Just you know, living in different places and, and oh, it's uh, yeah, it's wonderful. Um, I, I really enjoy living in New York and um, aim to you know to settle back there once all this sort of touring has died down. I, I guess I probably will make another solo record after this, and uh, and I'll probably you know be based in New York again, yeah. working on that. But you know, at, uh, certainly for the next, you know, all, all we're thinking about right now is just playing this record you know it's only been out a month or so and it still feels very uh you know we're, we're still excited just to be going out and we're sort of looking at the next 12 months of, of just like wanting to tour this record so. sure and speaking of which you've got some festivals coming up uh tell us about that sort of, uh, in november december yeah uh we got a festival um this weekend uh, on the sunshine coast and then the following weekend we're at queenscliff and the weekend after that we're at homebake and it's just kind of almost every weekend through across the summertime we've just got these nice the, the, the SB at new years oh, the SB at new years <laughs> yeah. yeah um so yeah it's good it's um yeah summertime's great just for you know doing these kind of one-off festival shows and and then we'll do like another tour of our own next year and we'll try and do a longer, more extensive tour than the one we've just done and get to some regional areas and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Well, such a pleasure to have you on, Paul, and I'm a big fan personally, so it's, it's great to have you on Balcony TV. Thanks for and, having me. Uh, and yeah, I guess good luck with the rest of the year and heading into next. Thank you. Cool. You've been watching Balcony TV. This is uh, Paul Dempsey from Something for Kate. Balcony TV.